And we're Welcome back, back friend. Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were He's talking. Good. But I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Hey, what was that? What was what, friend? You just kicked my spell into that pile. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Well, if we remember anything from uh, what's it? Gallon 2, we can send the dog on the pile. Okay, boy. Do your thing. Hey, did you bring a dog in here? Because that will get you banned for life in here, friend. Oh, well then, let's uh, distract him. Excuse me. What is it, friend? Friend. Would you mind uh, looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm, better have a look. Well, I don't see anything over here. Okay, boy, do your thing. Are you sure you meant behind me? Uh, we'll also steal a peg leg. Yoink. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. Till next time, friend. Yep. Back to the crossroads. Hey, Caleb. Hello. Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. Oh, no dog. Where'd the dog go? Did he, there he is. Okay. There you are. Okay, give me the spell. Did he bury it? Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad, Franklin. Oh, well, we'll try again. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. <laughs> okay, boy. Do your thing. Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. There we go. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. And you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. Okay. Well, we have most of that. I don't know about the sacrifice, but we have a... Uh... We have a guide. If the dog counts as a guide. We have an anchor. Anchors away! Check. Something to find your way. Check. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Good dog. And we have courage. Liquid courage. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. Okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Well, most likely at the um, only place we haven't gone yet. Sword fight. Hey, Morgan. You did die. 
up the stairs. Morgan? Ahoy, matey! I see another swordsman be coming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Very well. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness you're all right. Hey, I be talking to you. No, yeah, I'm not all so right. Rude. I'm dead. Apparently you are too. Now go away. Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed LeChuck? Uh, what? Death must have scrambled your noggin. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. Sword fighter looking for a challenge over here. Yeah, yeah, hold on. DeSinge? But you said... That's just great. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly listen to my death rattles. But... And on top of that, he sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a wimp-wristed, wig-wearing sissy boy like DeSinge with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with a chuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably gonna need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. Anyone? All you need is to get a little fight back in you. Come on, grab your sword and fight me. No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed. Fight me. Fight me. Well, I'm not done with you yet, lady. I'll be back. <sighs> Fine. I'll just wait over here then. Well, it looks like I can get a sword. Pardon me. Mind if I borrow this? Hey, the Chuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. The Chuck? Aye. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head. Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. I oh, got makes two sense. knives in his back. Well, let's sort her. On your feet, Mo. Fine. Yes. Now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. I'm useless. Oh, I a can triple fight, even huh? Even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight. Uh, that one? See? In some ways you are stronger than me. My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Um, you run that fast? You run that fast? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. It's hopeless. I can't believe I once studied under the greatest swordsman in the Caribbean. He must have taught you everything he you know. He must have taught you everything you know. You know what? You're right. I was that a darn so good hard. pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions, and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breast spray. Wow, I didn't think that you had it in your lass. Now my head and I can move on, and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. No, you're if not. there is any way I can help you, you do it again. just ask. For money. Yes, you can do something with sacrificing. Hey, you. What's up? I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? 
Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah. Sure. But I already got those. See what she has to say about you this. Sure, it wasn't Desint who killed you. He sure acted guilty. Didn't you pay any attention to my dying words? I clearly said, don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran me through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say, Desinj is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. Did Galeb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads, too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here, though. Hey, when you crossed over, were you still clinging to a shred of life, too? Shred of life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Hey, Mo, I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Well, hopefully this is the fourth and final piece, and we can go back to the land of the living. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I, I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Well, that worked. Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! Huh, that's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know, you just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. You wish me luck. Ah, ah! Clumsy. Clumsy guy brush. 